in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a banana hair mask deep conditioner for your natural hair so make sure that you stay tuned you guys and keep on watching like the video and subscribe okay guys welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're new please subscribe so in today's uh recipe you need a conditioner and you need a banana a ripe banana will be the best thing to use but if you don't have don't stress you also need honey for this banana recipe deep conditioner and you also need a, an oil any oil of your choice and glycerin now glycerin is very important you guys don't miss out this glycerin in this banana mask deep conditioner for your natural hair do not miss that out and you also need a magic bullet because this is going to actually help to smoothen the banana hair mask deep conditioner okay uh it's going to smoothen the uh, deep conditioner all right so i'm just going to put the banana in banana actually is rich in potassium which actually helps to thicken the hair you guys and you can also use any conditioner of choice you don't really need to use exactly what i what 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 i used um and also i'm going to use honey honey is so good it softens the hair it also gives your hair a boost of those curls okay it actually defines your curls as well it softens the hair and strengthens the hair and also promotes hair growth i'm also going to put my hair growth oil in there and then my glycerin now glycerin is a humectant it also draws moisture um and honey as well is the same thing so with your deep conditioners you need to make sure that you are using some things that are very very moisturizing to your diy uh deep conditioners for your natural hair right all right, so I'm going to use my magic bullet and I'm going to grind it until it's very, very, very uh, creamy and soft. So with this uh, banana hair mask deep conditioner for your natural hair, you actually need a magic bullet, you guys. You can't use anything else. Look at the consistency. It's very smooth. It's like a cream, like I want to eat it. Yeah, I call give me porridge. Mm -hmm. Give me porridge. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> so i really like this the consistency so i'm just going to put the banana hair mask deep conditioner inside this glass jar as you can see it's very lightweight it's very very uh, creamy and cha give me i want to eat porridge okay <laughs> so yeah you guys it looks very very yummy for my hair okay so i'm going to put it in there and i'm going to show you exactly look at that look at that so of course for this uh recipe you need a magic bullet guys so remember i had some cornrows that i did i actually told you i was going to stay for longer with it guys <laughs> let me tell you chair because i was using onion juice for 12 days i really wanted to do a deep conditioner because onion juice can really dry out your hair guys if you're not careful my hair was very very dry uh so i really needed to go on with a deep content look at those curls you got they are just a popping i call they are popping out <laughs> Child, look at that my hair was very very dry so i needed to go on with a um intense deep conditioner you guys because yeah look at those curls they are just popping okay so yeah <laughs> so i really needed to take down my cornrows i know i really wanted to stay with them for longer like for three months or two months but guys i really needed to give my hair what it needed uh because yeah it, it, it's not going to to really help if you just keep that protective style in when your hair is breaking you you know what i mean like when your hair is breaking you don't want to do that so you really have to deep condition because it was a long time you guys i i don't even remember when was the last time i deep conditioned my hair but i always do hot oil treatments but here yeah, it's not enough to always do hot oil treatment you also need to deep condition look at those curls they are propping okay i told you they are popping mm -hmm. <laughs> all right guys so yeah i really needed to go on with this banana mask deep conditioner uh let me just say it's an intense deep conditioner because my hair was very 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 dry you guys so i just needed to go on with a 
an intense um, banana mask deep conditioner just to make sure that my hair gets all that moisture that it needs um, and also guys my ends were very thirsty my ends were so dry that guys <laughs> when I applied this banana mask I could see with my ends as well that they were curly. That's how you can see that the deep conditioner is very, very moisturizing. So make sure that you are using honey and glycerin because those things, they actually add moisture um, to, your, uh, to your hair as well. So make sure that every time when you're applying a banana mask uh, deep conditioner or any mask of any kind or any deep conditioner, guys, make sure that you are applying it on the ends of your hair first making sure that you are paying attention to your ends because it's super important okay. now guys very sorry for the lighting i forgot to switch on the light but here yeah, but here yeah, guys um you need to deep condition this is a must you guys my hair i think it's been months since i deep conditioned i would always do hot oil treatment which i really love hot oil treatments i love them um because even if you have control I can still do deep uh, hot oil treatments, but now I I wasn't doing the deep conditioning treatments, you guys, and my hair was just crying out. <laughs> my hair was just saying, please don't forget me. So, guys, I needed to do a deep conditioning treatment. So even staying with these cornrows for months and months wouldn't even help because my hair would just break, break, break because I wasn't deep conditioning my hair. So this. This was the time for me to really really you know pay attention to my hair what my hair needed okay so right now i'm just going on again and i'm going to detangle with the comb now guys i know that i don't really like combs i normally finger detangle but my hair needed uh, to be detangled with a white tooth comb so always use a white tooth comb starting from the ends uh going up now guys as i told you that my roots are very very thick right now so i have to be really careful when i'm combing my hair because those roots guys are very very thick okay it's very hard to get to them so i really need to be careful okay so so look at what i'm doing right now um you know detangling the hair is very very important guys because if you don't detangle your hair properly it can actually cause knots and your hair can actually break okay so the other thing why i took down the cornrows is because i really wanted to put uh some some african threading okay a protective style of african threading because guys my hair needs to be stretched out this is a natural way to stretch out your hair so i'm going to put a picture uh showing you the style that i did i'm sorry i did not film it because my phone was too full cha okay so i did not film it guys but yeah i i did uh, african threading just to stretch out my hair um because yeah with our natural hair the it has kinks so if you stretch it out it's gonna help out to to uh allow your hair to stay in a stretched state which decrease the amount of knots that you have when you stretch out your hair uh, naturally okay with the thread all right so i'm just going to apply this banana mask deep conditioner again okay and just go on with my white tooth comb as you can see it's actually gliding very very well um so i'm actually using this deep conditioner banana mask banana deep conditioner tangle my hair and then i twist it up now guys let me tell you this is the mistake that i did if you are new if you are using onion juice you have to deep condition maybe you actually have to do it once a week and then deep condition actually use this onion juice as a pre poo and then you shampoo your hair and then you deep condition afterwards you need to deep don't even uh, you know don't uh, skip deep conditioning because your hair is going to be dry it's going to be thirsty and it's going to break and you don't want that oh guys you don't really really need that okay you don't need it no one needs it no one needs it check 
so guys this is what i did so the protective cell that i have now i don't know when i'm going to take it out you guys it just depends with what my hair needs but here yeah, you guys i hope this video was very very helpful my hair has grown a lot with using onion juice you guys uh so yeah thank you so much as you can see my my roots are very thick i can hardly come through with you guys uh that you know you know that shows that my hair is really growing out thicker which is good so you guys thank you so much for watching please give my video a thumbs up comment below and let me know if you have any hair problems anything you're facing because i want to know okay so thank you so much guys for watching see you